In this session, let us begin with the sacral plexus. Sacral plexus is formed from the ventral ramus of L4, L5, S1, S2, S3, as well as S4 nerves. It lies in front of the pyriformis, deep to the pelvic fascia, in the posterior wall of the true pelvis. So here, L4, L5, S1, S2 and S3 ventral rami divide into dorsal or posterior ventral or anterior branches. So L4 nerve, what you can see over here very clearly that L4 nerve is shared by both lumbar as well as sacral plexus. So where we discussed in the lumbar plexus that L4 nerve divides a larger upper part take part in the formation of lumbar plexus and the smaller lower part joins with the ventral ramus of the L5 nerve to form lumbosacral trunk which contributes to the formation of the sacral nerve. So the lumbosacral trunk and ventral ramus of S1 nerve are separated by superior gluteal vessel. So here the ventral ramus of S1 as well as S2 nerves are separated by inferior gluteal vessel. Now let us discuss about uh, various branches which are mainly arising from the sacral plexus. So as you can see the three important nerves over here, superior gluteal nerve, inferior gluteal nerve and next one is the nerve to pyriformis. So these are the three nerves what you can see over here and if you see the other branches which are arising from the sacral plexus, the first one what you can see over here is nerve to the quadratus femoris where it also gives innervation to the inferior gemellus and next one is nerve to the obturator internus where it also gives innervation to the superior gemellus and next important nerve which receives fibers from both the dorsal as well as ventral division is posterior femoral cutaneous nerve and the next one is the perforating cutaneous nerve, pudendal nerve, nerve to the levator ani and coccygeus muscles, perineal branch of the fourth sacral nerve, anococcygeal nerve, coccygeal nerve. All these are the branches which are arising mainly from the sacral plexus. Now let us discuss in detail about individual branches or individual nerves which are arising from sacral plexus. So here, if you see the nerve to the pyriformis, it has a root value of S1 as well as S2, mainly from the dorsal divisions. And nerve to the levator ani as well as coccygeus muscle has a root value of S3 as well as S4, but arising from the ventral divisions. Pelvic splanchnic nerves S2, S3 as well as S4. Sciatic nerve has two components, one is a common peroneal as well as tibial component. The common peroneal nerve arises from the dorsal divisions, L4, L5, S1 as well as S2. But the tibial component arises from the ventral division of the same nerve segments that is L4, L5, S1, S2, S3 nerves. Next is nerve to the quadratus femoris, arises from the ventral divisions of L4, L5 as well as S1. And nerve to the obturator internus also arise from the ventral divisions of L5, S1 as well as S2. Pudendal nerve, S2, S3 as well as S4 is a root value, but it arises from the ventral divisions of the same nerve segments. But if you see the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh, dorsal divisions of S1 as well as S2 as well as ventral divisions of S2 as well as S3 combined to form posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the superior gluteal nerve arises from the dorsal divisions of L4, L5 as well as S1 and uh, inferior gluteal nerve arises from dorsal divisions of uh, L5, S1 as well as S2 and at last is the perforating cutaneous nerve it arises from the dorsal divisions of S2 as well as S3. So this is about uh, individual branches as well as the root values for all the nerves which are arising from the sacral plexus. Now let us begin with uh, individual nerves and we will discuss in detail. The first one is the superior gluteal nerve. 
So as you can see the superior gluteal nerve over here. So the superior gluteal nerve we know that it is formed from dorsal divisions of uh, L4, L5 as well as S1. After it arises from the following uh, segments, it passes out of the pelvis along the superior gluteal artery above the piriformis. And next is the inferior gluteal nerve. And this inferior gluteal nerve arises from the dorsal divisions of L5, S1 as well as S2. It passes out of the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen along with the inferior gluteal artery as well as posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh below the piriformis muscle. And the third one is the nerve to the piriformis. So, nerve to the piriformis is formed from dorsal divisions of S1 as well as S2 and that is it we need to know about this. And next is nerve to the quadratus femoris. It is formed from ventral divisions of L4, L5 as well as S1. After emerging, it passes out of the pelvis same through the greater sciatic foramen anterior to that of the sciatic nerve. And next is nerve to the obturator internus. And this nerve to the obturator internus is formed from the ventral divisions of L5, S1 as well as S2. It also passes out of the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramen between the sciatic as well as the pudendal nerves. And next one of the very important nerve what we are going to discuss over here is the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. So, this posterior femoral cutaneous nerve also known as the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. It is a sensory branch of the sacral plexus. It arises from anterior as well as posterior divisions of the anterior rami of S1, S2 as well as S3 nerves. It supplies the skin of the posterior thigh, buttocks and the posterior scrotum in the males as well as labia in females. And next one is about nerve to the levator ani and coccygeus muscle. It is formed from the ventral divisions of S3 as well as S4. Next is the pelvic splanchnic nerves. These branches arise from S2, S3 as well as S4. They provide sacred outflow of the parasympathetic system. They cause constriction of the sphincter vasicae and the sphincter ani externus and also cause dilatation of arteries of erectile tissue of the penis and clitoris during their erection. Next is the important nerve which is called as the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve consists of two nerves, common peroneal and the tibial enclosed in a common sheet. So, the common peroneal nerve is formed from dorsal divisions of L4, L5, S1 and S2. But the tibial component is formed from the ventral divisions of L4, L5, S1, S2, S3 nerves. Anyway, we are going to discuss uh, in detail about the sciatic nerve separately in the individual nerve section. Next is about the pudendal nerve. For example, when we are discussing about the pudendal nerve, it is lower and smaller terminal branch of the sacral plexus. It is formed from the ventral divisions of S2, S3 as well as S4. And next is the perforating cutaneous nerve, where the perforating cutaneous nerve what you can see over here is mainly formed from the dorsal divisions of S2 as well as S3. It descends on piriformis and coccygeus and passes between coccygeus as well as levator ani and then pierces sacrotuberous ligament and the gluteus maximus mainly to supply the gluteal skin. So by this we completed about the sacral plexus as well as in detail gross anatomy about the individual branches which are emerging from the sacral plexus.